Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this morning is going to be an RC car day. Yes, I have the DBXLE that I've had in my possession for about four months now, and I've taken it out quite a few times. It's a little bit dirty, it's sitting over there. Well, let's go check it out. All right, let me, let me drag this thing out. There it is. So this DBXL is the same as the DBXL gas. This is the electric version. I have the gas version, it's up there. I'll show you it in a second. So this here electric version, is pretty darn massive and it's very scary because it has a lot of weight. It weighs over 30 pounds with the batteries inside. It's got a huge motor. Uh, it's all made out of aluminum plastic and uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can see on the bottom here, it's aluminum down there. Can you see that? This thing weighs a ton. So it's a fun car to drive and I thought I should show it in a video just going out and having some fun with it. It's kind of dirty because I've been driving it an awful lot. This is where I keep my gas car. So I have a gas car there. They're way up. There's another gas car. You've seen that in videos. And way up there is the DBXL gas powered. I know you can't see it very well, but uh, one day I'll take the gas powered and I'll compare it against the electric. So to get under the hood, we just take off two clips. It's a very easy access. You'll notice too, we have an LED bar up here, but the front just comes up like this and we have our internals. Very easy access for adding your two batteries here and uh, checking out the motor and everything else. Up front, you can see the aluminum shocks coming around. There's our servo and going down here, you can see part of the motor down in here. And we have, of course, our ESC up here and back to aluminum shocks and metal parts. Very nice. Now, this is powered by two 4S 5000 milliamp hour batteries at 100C. All right, both batteries are in. Let's connect them up. There we go. She's all set to go. Close up the hood, get the pins in, and uh, let's go take it out for a spin. You need a lot of area to drive this, so let's take it out for a spin. All right, so here we have my car down here and Nelson has come out to help me. Nelson is gonna fly the Air 2S. He's got it up there and uh, he's gonna fly that baby and uh, capture him some video as I go flying the car down this road. Now, this is not a speed demon, so uh, it's not gonna go very fast. Video, we're gonna go to 5K, 30, and autofocus is on. If I wanna turn yeah. the gimbal from side to side, Take your finger, say I want to go look at our feet. You go there. Hold it. You got to hold it for a few minutes or seconds. And then... And so does it move to focus on your finger or is it just a nope. control? It's just a control. All right, so we have the uh, Air 2S right over there. We've got the vehicle here. We have a GoPro on top. Hopefully the GPS is going to work on this baby. I'm going to power this on. Get a green light. There we go. And where's the button? There's a hole in here. <laughs> there it is. Now I'm gonna power on the car. And that's another thing, Nelson, if this car ever comes at you, get the hell out of the way, because it will hurt. Okay. So let me just see if I have control. Is it gas or electric? It's electric. Yeah. All right, so Nelson, take on up, go on up. There he goes. All right, let's see this go. All right, here I'm trying to control this, holding a camera here. I'm gonna get this over. This is the road we're gonna cruise down. All right, let me just say a few words in here before we go. All right, so the, the vehicle is over there. Nelson's over there flying the Air 2S and there's the road. I'm gonna whip down that road and stop over there. Now, this is not very fast. It's not super fast. And um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a super high speed, but eh, we're gonna try it. That's good. All right, Nelson, follow this slowly. As soon as it goes out of your frame, don't worry about it. Just tell me when it's out of the frame. Turn it around. Okay, we'll do a few tries. As soon as it's in your, your shot, just follow it. You should have no problem. Here we go. Full speed. Got to keep it straight. There we go. Whoa! Keep it straight. <laughs> it's in my... Perfect. Is, is the camera dead center in the road? Okay, so let me do it again. 
coming, coming, coming. All right. All right, so that was a few passes with the DBXL E uh, 2.0. Uh, hopefully it looked pretty cool. Hopefully the GoPro on top, the GPS was working to get the speed. Now, if, if our beach is open, I'm gonna go to the beach and uh, try this out there. Nelson's gonna come with me. If not, I'll have to find some other place with dirt. So uh, let's go check that out. All right, you can uh, land it, take it back. Looks like somebody made a fire over here. What is that? What is that? Here's something you don't see every day. This is a laptop that uh, went on fire. Not mine. Somebody's at the beach. And uh, this is the battery for it. So what was it? This was an HP laptop. Wow. And I tipped it. <laughs> Let's get that over. Whoa. So we've got the FPV drone down here. I'm going to fly that following this. Uh, Nelson, I'm just going to show Nelson quickly the vehicle here. All right. So the object is not to tip it. Yeah. So obviously when you're driving, so if you you're see... you're demonstrating that, how not to do it. Then. Exactly. And, you, and the way you do that is by, you know, like you, you would... I just... Pro oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank God you left the gimbal guard on. <laughs> I destroyed the camera. All right, throttle. And the biggest one you have to know is brakes. Uh, which is brakes? Brakes is forward. Pu pushing forward, okay. Yeah, and then if you push it after you brake, if you push it again, you'll go reverse in a slow speed. Okay. Go in straight lines and you'll have a better idea of the speed. Just make sure when you turn, you just reduce a little bit. Not stop, but... Uh, yeah. So when I'm flying and chasing it with the FPV, yeah. you'll have to move fast. You can't go slow like that. Right. Gotta be faster than grandma's speed. This is Nelson's second time driving an RC car. First time he drove my X-Max in the winter, in the snow. Where are you, drone? Oh, it's right by my feet. All right, don't hit me in the head. My controller's full of sand. <laughs> yeah, big time. <laughs> I'll take it apart when I get home. Okay, I'm going for it. Okay. I'm waiting for you. land beside me here. There we go. Now, how do I get the sand out of here? All right, so hopefully this worked out and the DBXL showed up well in the video, driving around here in the sand, plus out in the parking lot in the other location. Hopefully my GPS on the GoPro was working and you could see the speed. Uh, it's a really great vehicle, electric, to drive around. A little bit dangerous right now. It's a little bit later in the morning and people are showing up at the beach, so we have to stop. We did fly drones, the uh, Air 2S. Nelson flew that to grab some B-roll shots, and I flew the FPV, DJI FPV drone following this thing around the beach here. Just a few shots while Nelson drove this, and I think it turned out well. The only mistake I made is <laughs> I sprayed beach sand over all our gear and uh yeah i can't even use the the fpv controller in manual mode anymore it just grinds so i gotta take it all apart and get the sand out nelson's been sitting here as well as myself just getting the sand out of everything so 
my bad. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put links below to where you can find this vehicle. It is not cheap. It is the most expensive RC vehicle I currently own and I love it, but you really have to want an RC vehicle this size, this powerful and this cool to get something like this. But the links are below. If you have deep pockets, check it out. And this is a really good one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. And thanks again, Nelson, for helping out. Great fun. All right, take care. Bye. Thank you.